Today we are looking at potentially one of the most insufferable and cringe men on the planet, Salt Bay. She's been under a lot of fire recently for being cringe. Not because of his name, no he does not actually make love to salt, just to footballers instead. Hello everybody, your favourite silly goose here. Like the video if you're feeling silly, subscribe if you're feeling goofy. Enjoy my Patreon to have your name at the end of every video. Salt Bay originally got famous around five years ago for... I don't know how to describe it. Contaminating salt with his elbow before it goes on his customer's food. Doesn't seem very hygienic to me. I hope he sanitises that elbow. Sk oh, oh god, that squirted everywhere. Rub it in. Oh. Literally all he does is put salt on an animal via his elbow. I guess you could say he's rubbing salt in the wound. <laughs> Get it, wound, dead animal, open. Sorry. But recently he infiltrated the World Cup final, and by infiltrate, I mean he was invited. Why he was invited, I hear you ask? I have no idea. I have no idea at all. But yeah, he was invited to the event and decided to terrorise the event. What was that noise? POV when you step on your cat's tail by accident. Even that mouth movement. what that mouth do, baby? It's like he's having a stroke. So if you don't know, or if you don't care, Argentina won the World Cup final. Salt Bay was there for whatever reason. Whatever reason. But the reason why these clips went so viral is because when you win the World Cup, the only players allowed to touch the World Cup trophy are the World Cup winners. The original FIFA World Cup trophy can only be touched and held by a very select group of people, which includes former winners of the FIFA World Cup and heads of state, which he is neither. He pours salt onto his elbow for a living. And I know you're probably thinking, Lewis, this is quite harmless, which you're correct, it is. It's just really painful to watch. <laughs> oh, there he does, his trademark. I hate 2017 for making people like this famous. Anyone that randomly got famous, got famous in 2017, I swear to God. Every single time I see someone like Kim and I'm like, hmm, how were they famous? 2017, it's always the answer. <laughs> Look how much the player is grabbing onto that trophy. Look at his face. Leave the trophy alone, you salt-loving bastard. I don't think he was Scottish, that I think of it. Leave that trophy alone. Sorry, that's... I'm gonna get cancelled for that, probably. I mean, Argentina don't exactly have the best history, do they? Oh no, this, this whole thing, all of this, it's all about me. Just imagine, right, working your whole life. Any professional footballer, this is what they dream of. You've worked your whole life to even get close to that trophy. Not even to touch it, just to get close to even winning it. Everything pays off. You win it. Only for the second you touch this trophy, only for Salt Bay to try take it off you. <laughs> Even the baby is trying to touch it and he's going, no, no, no. Mine, mine, mine. Salt Bay is from Turkey. Turkey didn't even qualify for the World Cup. They only made it for Christmas dinner. So, sorry. I believe he is the most famous man in Turkey. So if Turkey won the World Cup, it would probably make sense why this man would, would be there. But he, he's, he's not. He's from a different continent. And then the player finally gives up and Salt Bay takes it by brute force. <laughs> Look at his face when he finally takes the trophy. Ah, there we go. That trophy's about to be bathed in imaginary salt. <laughs> I wish I was a baseball player. Now, once again, Lewis, this is this is fairly harmless. Yes, you're correct. But did he did he stop? <laughs> no. I thought I was bad at reading the social cues, but this man, he just keeps on going around every individual player. He just kept following every player that had the trophy. He was just hanging about like an unwanted STD. This man is the chlamydia of FIFA. <laughs> That's me when I pretend to be happy at a family gathering. Yeah, sure. I'd love to play charades. <laughs> Help me spot her. So, um, oh, for fuck's sake. It's that little stare he does at the end. 
I get it, right? If I had my chances to potentially hold the World Cup trophy, I'd maybe politely ask for a photo next to it. But this man, no shame. I wish I had confidence like this. This man is just going up to every single player and just trying to take it with their hands. He's like a kid wanting your phone so he can play games on it. He has no shame. Look how many posts he has with the World Cup. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I can count. Look at this shit house, eh? The only time he managed to grab it out of somebody's hands, he managed to snap a picture. You can see the Argentina player just in the corner, and you just know their face is like... You don't deserve to touch the greatest trophy, please go back to your restaurant and just drop some salt. Even Diplo was like, bro, delete this. <laughs> Do you know how much of a loser you have to be for Diplo to say something? Doesn't that man have like, songs to make or something? Napoleon Syndrome. What is Napoleon Syndrome? A domineering or aggressive attitude perceived as a form of overcompensation for being physically small or short. <laughs> Have they managed to height shame this man? Why is he? Salt Bay is five foot six inches. That's all right. I guess. Short King, you know? He's 38. I, I refuse not to speak. If I speak, I am in trouble. Your job is to cook my steak. Stop acting like you're more than that. Get back in the kitchen, mate, where you belong. Articulated like a true misogynist. Even Lionel Messi, who finally won the World Cup. Salt Bay even went after him. Nobody is safe. Think about it. Yeah. Well, you think if he plays in MLS for the next three years, there's a World Cup in the state. He does not care, and I do not blame him. I've never met somebody so insufferable without saying a single word. Messi has done everything in the game of football. And still, him ignoring Salt Bay is probably the best accomplishment he's ever done, in my eyes. Why does he always have them glasses on? I don't want to say anything mean in case he has some sort of condition. Salt Bay without sunglasses. Hmm. Even poor Mbappe lost the World Cup final, and even he's not safe. It was a good night. A pleasure to come with my men. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's so random. Like, that was just completely unprovoked. He's actually got 50 million followers on Instagram. His bio says, nothing is impossible, which is true. Salt Bay has never played football, yet he's apparently won the World Cup. Anything is possible, as long as you can bribe people to get on the pitch. Once again, I would like to reiterate, this is harmless. I'm not saying that he's committed a literal act of terrorism. It's just really funny. But what is an act of terrorism is his food. Pretty much he's one of them people that gets like a, a 30 quid steak, chucks some gold on it, 3,000 pounds. It's one of them type of restaurants. No wonder he's obsessed with the World Cup. He's been serving it as a dish. I don't get people that want to eat food like this. Like who on earth goes, mmm, I'm feeling really hungry right now. I could really scran some metal right now. Is gold a metal? Someone posted a bill from his restaurant and it came to two grand. That thing is 630 quid. I think the real crime on this though is 18 quid for two Coca-Cola lights. That's literally how I wrap my Christmas presents. Oh, hope you all had a good Christmas, guys. The best present you could give me is subscribing. He also does this weird thing where he dangles his steak in front of his Customers? I'm not gonna be chronically online and be like, oh, you shouldn't do that. But if he did that to me, I'd be so uncomfortable. It's like he's dangling a fishing rod of meat. Come and get it, you have to work for your food. I'd open my mouth for Salt Bay. <laughs> Maybe he's just really primitive and he wants you to hunt for your food. You can hunt for this cop. I'm alright with an eye, I'm stuck in. 